Hey everyone, it's me again. I decided that I'm going to go ahead on. I've already started pulling down the flowers that I had on the mantle and that's why the J is cricket because I just put the clock up there that I had in the hallway and I'm going to pull all of the, the rest of these spring flowers off the mantle. I should have started filming at the beginning, but I didn't think about it. And I'm putting all of those in a stack right here on the floor and I'm going to put those out in the garage and then once I pull the rest of those items off I've decided to go ahead on and do a laundry room clean with me and then I'm going to go ahead on and start decorating my uh, laundry shelves for fall it'll be a um it's not going to be a lot of stuff because, like I said, the only part of my laundry room that I decorate are the sh those shelves behind the washer and dryer because the other part of my laundry room, I kind of use those shelves for storage because I was doing a lot of couponing. But lately, I slowed down because I don't like a lot of clutter and I had started accumulating a lot of items. So, like I said, I'm going to finish clearing this shelf off, and then I'm going to set the camera up in the, util uh, in the utility room slash laundry room, and I'm going to do a clean with me, and then I'm going to decorate my laundry shelves in there for fall. Okay, so everything is completely stripped off. Now, it is truly a clean slate, and... As I said before, a lot of people are probably saying it's too early, but it's just like Monday and Tuesday. Tomorrow and Tuesday, I have two days of professional development. That'll be all day. And then I have about another two and a half weeks. And so, like I said, as an educator, we go back to work the first week in August. I normally decorate the first week in August anyway. So it makes sense for me to go ahead on and get a head start on some of my fall decor and get that out the way so I won't be so scramming once school starts and I have a full schedule all day long. And these are all the items that I pulled off the shelf. Now, I did decide these are some of the items that I have in one of my fall containers. I'm not going to show you guys a whole few, a full view of my garage because it is a mess and it needs to be cleaned and organized. We did, we did a workout here yesterday, but it's still a lot to be done. These are just a few of the items that I pulled out of one of the containers here some things that i pulled out of the one that i just showed you but i still have like four other containers full of fall decor these are some of the things i'm going to be pulling out to decorate the shelf in the laundry room and i also have thought about going on doing a um a video to do the tier tray but i need some uh, other smaller items and some smaller fall signs though i think so i think i'll just wait okay so we're going to look at my utility room and as i said i'm going to uh do a clean with me it's not a whole lot of stuff in here but it is i have clothes here that I need to fold up. I also have clothes in here that I took out the washer earlier, all this underwear and stuff. Then somebody's throw the towel up there. Um, I did tell you guys that we have a cat, so we keep his litter box in the utility room. So I need to um, clean that out, sweep and scoop. I need to wash his bowl. And then over here, these are laundry baskets. I keep all of our like um, towels that I clean with in that wooden um, crate there. I'm going to make me a label that says towels on that. And then over here, I don't really show over here too uh, much. Like I said, I was a couponer. And my, like I said, my stockpile 
has really decreased dramatically so like i told you guys a lot of times it's really easy to have a lot of things and it get out of hand so i stopped couponing i sold a lot of things i always gave a lot of items to my family anyway so i am going to go to dollar tree because i really like to use all white baskets so if they're on the top i have some green baskets and a blue basket and those gold baskets there and i'm going to replace those with white baskets and then i am going to put labels on everything in here and then as you can see some of the uh items the kids just throw them on the shelf any type of way like i said on the bottom is just a little basket where i keep the litter scoop because i don't like it sitting on my floor so, like I said, I'm going to straighten up those items. And then on top, I have some um, small deep fries, a humidifier, a pressure cooker, um, a hot plate. That's where I keep, like, when I uh, move things in here on that shelf, when I want to clear some space in my kitchen. Because I do have a small kitchen or whatever. And like I said, and there's my... Uh, this is a closet in here, a walk-in closet, but I'm not going to show that. But like I said, I don't have a whole lot uh, going on in here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead on and get started, clean up. And then, like I said, the only thing that I'm going to decorate in here are my uh, shelves up there. And that's it. All right. So I'll see you as soon as I get all of this finished. I'm going to set the camera up so that you can follow along.
Yeah, so for the most part, I am finished in here because I gave this room a good cleaning the other day. Now, I do need to mop in here, but I'm not going to mop in here until everybody, uh, you know, pretty much gets settled for the night. And like I said, I, I want to do another video in here. Like I said, I want to um, change out all these baskets to white baskets and label everything. And then I'll share that video as well. But for now, this is pretty much this corner that I don't too much show because it's uh, basically household cleaning supplies, hygiene products, the litter box, things like that, that I don't, you know, really care to be showing too much. And then also with the floors in my first video of the laundry room i told you guys that this pretty much was just the um thick gray um sheets of what plywood yeah and we it's the real thick gray though and we just uh stained it and sealed it but it's about time now for it to be re-stained as well as resealed with polyurethane to get that shine back and I know I'm going to be doing that before the holiday season. So that's another project that's on way for this room. Um, I want to find those somewhere with the white baskets, like I said, at uh, Dollar Tree. And then I want to label those. And then I want to refinish this floor with the uh, walnut stain and reseal it so that it shines. But anyway, pretty much back to the front. Here, I'm getting ready to decorate these shelves with uh, some fall items and those towels are sitting there because my son put his work uniform in his work uniform in the dryer so I'm waiting on that to stop because I my, those white towels are my cleaning towels so I've been really wiping and cleaning stuff down the last couple days I throw them in the washer this morning so now they need to dry and he came in here and took my stuff out he didn't put it in the dryer put his stuff in the washer and then put his stuff in the dryer without putting mine in. So those are sitting there until I can put them in the dryer and then I can put them up. So I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod and then I'm going to bring in some of the items that I'm going to decorate um, the shelves. Like I said, this is not going to be like full out because it's a laundry room. So just a couple of hints of fall decor, that's all.
Okay, I think I'm finally through. I just could not get um, these shells like I wanted them. Now, I think I finally come to an arrangement that I can deal with or whatever. One thing, as I said before, I um, I pulled out some of my fall decoration, but I haven't got a chance to get to everything. And I was looking for like some natural farmhouse signs with wording on them or whatever to put um, up there on the top in the middle. But like I said, I haven't gotten a chance to get to it. Or if I find something that I like, to purchase at a good price i may include that as well but for right now this is kind of what i've come up with um up there on top is kind of like a fall push cart that my mama gave me about two years ago and then on either side of it she also gave me those they are bird houses and you can see the birds in the front of them everything else is pieces that i've kind of collected over the last couple of years that canvas with the old truck and the hay it was actually a dollar tree find a couple of years ago and that um wooden crate is also a diy in the middle on the bottom i added those two handles there with some um the jute twine um rope and like I said, this is kind of just what I've come up with because I'm trying to start working on my fall series. I really didn't want to fuss too much because I said it's just the laundry room and I didn't want to put a whole lot in there, but I still wanted it to look a certain way. But for right now, this is what I've um, come up with. And then just to zoom in on that little wagon push cart there and the bird houses and then there is the little truck with the hay that i got from dollar tree a couple of years ago and as i said these are pretty much just the collection of pumpkins and things like that that i just kind of threw together i've had that basket that fall basket for a while and then that's just some bacon soda and a scoop that i use in my everyday uh cleaning so that's pretty much what we have now so um if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel crafty girl down south if you have not already done so and please leave me a comment so um i'll see you guys in the next video thanks okay you guys i sat on it i looked at it and i'm just going to have to change out that middle shelf i'm gonna leave that hay sign um with the the hay in the truck for the time being but i am going to find another sign a little bit bigger natural fall sign to go there so this is uh what i'm gonna leave it as now i feel like the white baskets are throwing it off i'm not really satisfied with the truck picture either because the picture i feel needs to be a little bit um uh, larger so here is what we're going to leave it at for now